model talk. The definition of model talk is demonstrating as you talk, the verbal explanation and physical demonstration of direction or concept. This definition can be located on page 33, chapter 3 of our textbook, 50 Strategies for Teaching English Language Learners, the 5th edition. The definition of language acquisition is gradually acquiring a language through receiving and understanding messages, building a listening, repetitive vocabulary, and slowly attempting verbal production of language. My out-of-the-box idea will be justified because it supports language acquisition. In this activity, students are building listening skills and a verbal vocabulary by learning to understand directions and concepts through visual and physical gestures and demonstrations which supports the L1 and L2 of language acquisition. Why is this out-of-the-box idea a good idea? Because students will get a step-by-step -step demonstration of what is expected of them. Although this assignment can be used for any age group, the age group I'm targeting is first grade because I got this idea from Ms. Lincoln, a first grade bilingual teacher that was my mentor this semester. Antiques <laughs> to correspond with the curriculum and my out of the box idea is in the reading and language arts portion of the Texas Essential Skills for Teachers and it is bullet point B under knowledge and skills, bullet point number one, reading, beginning reading skills, print awareness, students understand how English is written and printed, students are expected to a. Recognize the spoken words are represented in written English by specific sequences of letters. Yes. D. Recognize the distinguishing features of a sentence. Capitalization of the first word ending punctuation. Today, what I will be demonstrating is called model talk. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the students what directions, what the directions are, and then I'm going to teach them my out-of-the-box idea, which is teaching bar graphs using math word problems through sticky notes. Now, the materials that you will need for this out-of-the-box assignment is the handout itself with math addition and subtraction word problems. Also, you will need sticky notes and then you will need a dry erase board marker. I, Miss Harris, want you to pick up a handout located on the desk or the table. Then I want you to return here to the center of the carpet. And once you have picked up your assignment and have returned to the center of the carpet, I want each of you to read the math word problem aloud. Complete the problem, and once you have the answer, I want you to raise your hand, and I will select one of you to represent the answer in bar graph form on the board, which is located here. These directions are also on the board. Okay guys, let's read our problems aloud. Four birds are sitting on a branch. One flies away. How many birds are left on the branch? Good job, Isabel. So 
I see that there's four minus. It looks like two. Because your sticky note is at the two instead of at the at the one. So it looks like four minus two equals three. Is that correct? No. No. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, that looks fantastic. Thank you. Can you return to the carpet? Yes, ma'am.